You're watching ABC 36 on your side. Good day, Kentucky. Hey friends, welcome back. Lexington Public Library proud to announce the groundbreaking exhibit, Undesigned the Red Line. Now this is an immersive and thought-provoking experience and it aims to uncover the deep-rooted systemic inequalities that have shaped our cities and communities. So to tell us more, we've got Paige Halpin Smith with us from the library. Paige, good to see you. Thank you for having us. So this is this is a this is a big deal. It is a big deal. It's an important thought-provoking conversation we want to have with the community. And as we were talking during the break, you all made sure you put this together right. There are a lot of seats needed at this table yeah. when you're building something like this. We want to be thoughtful. That's the way the library always works. Um, we brought in a lot of local historians and mm. this is Yvonne Giles, one of the lead experts oh, in the community. Yes. But Wonderful. really looking at what sort of policies created the city that we live in and right. these policies that historically denied access to housing right. and basic social services on race. Right. We, we know that our communities grew in a certain way mm -hmm. and it's because of policies at every level. Right. And, and from our vantage point, sometimes we forget to follow uh, that path, that mm -hmm. path that it puts us on right. and, and to where we're here in 2023. Yeah. So walk me through this exhibit where when people come out to see it, what are they in store for? Yeah, it's a lot of visuals. So we love maps and that jarring visual of mm. where were the homeowners, especially people of color, denied access mm -hmm. to not only housing, but loans and other public entities. Where were libraries not built? Where were schools not built? That sort of disinvestment. And how do we grow our way out of it? So there are beautiful maps that not only look at the larger narrative from the 1930s, right. but also different cities. And then we've got a really beautiful Lexington spin on it. We've got pieces from our Kentucky room that show Very the good. history of the historic hamlets and all of the maps. And then leave question. We want people to come and have a conversation and dialogue of how do we design right. our way out of this. Right. Right. Now, this is fantastic. And the library uh, is the perfect venue for this, too. You think so. You're, you're a great resource for that conversation yeah. as well. So um, for folks that want to learn more or want to kind of do a little preload on what they're about to experience, is, are there some online resources to, to get up to speed on we this? We want to meet everyone with where they are. So there's lots of online resources. This is also a part of our Community Reads project. That okay. This fall, there will be lots of book discussions for Richard Rothstein's The Color of Law. And then we've partnered with community, the Bluegrass Community Foundation and UK. So there, we want this to be a shared experience throughout mm. our community to really look at what does this look like for our whole country, but also Lexington. So lexpublib.org slash undesign is okay. where you can find all the resources. There's a great book discussion. Um, if you want more cliff notes, if you don't want to read the whole book, <laughs> um, but you want to still engage in the conversation, then we've also got guided tours. So we've got trained oh, docents. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, and Sunday at the Central Library downtown, you can come. But I also encourage folks to come back. It's a heavy topic. Right. And we want people to take their time with it and really digest it. It. They're going to pick up something every time they visit. Exactly. So. Every time I've looked at it in the last week, I've learned something And new. as you mentioned, in terms of sharing, there's going to be events surrounding this to keep this conversation going, yeah. which is the whole idea, right? Yeah. Where do we go from here? Exactly. And we hope that our community leaders will all come. Everyone, all of our council members have been invited. Um, we want this conversation to continue throughout the rest of the year. This is an ambitious and awesome thing Thank you guys you. have done. So I can't wait to see it. And we, uh, we want to invite folks out there. And, and we should mention, too, it's a limited time. Yes. It it will close on November 17th, so okay. make time. Um, it's open. You can access it during library hours um, every week, Very every good. day. We appreciate you Thank and the you. team so much. Good Thank to see you. you. We're back in just a second. Stick around now.